What's up YouTube, it's your boy Mark Dark, and I'm back with another video. If you're new, if you love the shy, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, like the video, and leave the theories, comments, everything down below. Now, this is just a quick video, season three, episode seven of the shy, my quick thoughts about the episode. And we just gonna talk about three characters in this quick thoughts video. And the first character is your girl, Keisha, we saw her finally escape. She's finally able to get up out of that basement, get away from Omari, and we got to thank your boy, Ronnie. We got to change his name from Rusty Ronnie to Rescue Ronnie. He went in there. He saved Keisha. Um, now we got to see the aftermath. What's going to happen next with Keisha and her character? Um, she was able to beat the living hell out of Omari, man. It was funny. She had to, you know what I'm saying? She got to put that crowbar to use and get her just do and i just got a feeling she's not going to be the same it's going to be a lot more to come as far as her storyline um now for a moment it didn't seem like it didn't seem like she was going to get out it seemed like it's going to be a repeat story all over again i mean he was about to put his hands on her but ronnie he was smart you know what i'm saying we got to give it up to him for staying consistent and you know what he said, you know, I'm going to just find this girl. After his boys left and he seen, you know, he looked at that picture of his son out there. He said, you know what? It's time to get back to business. Ronnie was dest destined to save Keisha. And that's exactly what he did. One thing that I did like about this episode, a lot of things in this episode kind of steer back to season one. As they show Ronnie's son, Jason, um, you saw that. And then from Kevin telling Ronnie thank you that goes back to season one as well if you guys don't remember your boy Kevin shot Ronnie in season one of the shy so it all goes back to season one so Kevin saying thank you to Ronnie really mean a lot to him he finally felt like he did something and he wanted to do something good for his grandma and just in general he wanted to do something good so we're going to see where his character goes hopefully it's more good things to happen but your girl Keisha is out Ronnie redeemed himself and as far as your boy Jake man what's up with your boy Jake he knows that Duda has something to do with killing Rich and he's very pissed off and I'm telling y'all like I told you before Jake he's going back to that season one season two mentality um now that he knows that Duda has something to do uh, something to do with killing Reg, he has no respect for him at all. Duda was yelling at him. Jake looked at him right in his face like, what you going to do, hit me? I mean, Jake ain't playing no more. That's what I'm saying. Duda, he cannot underestimate Jake. Like, dude, he grew up under Reg. Do you think he's really afraid of you? He's not scared of you at all, especially knowing that you have something to do with his brother's dying. The dude ain't playing around no more. So Duda, he's going to have to um, watch Jake be smart and not underestimate him. Even though he's a kid, he can be very dangerous. And that's something that I, I think is going to explode later on in the season. It's, it's definitely going to open up with Jake and Duda. And, of course, when Trey comes into the picture, it's not going to be looking good for your boy Duda. Um, now, he was able to get the endorsement from Gemma's father in this last episode so he's feeling good about himself he's feeling like he's at the top but we know in these shows they build people up just to break them straight down so I expect Duda to get broken down eventually whether it's by Jake or Camille Holloway and last but not least the last thing I want to talk about in this quick thoughts video is this your boy Emmett I gave him the benefit of the doubt. I said in my final predictions that maybe, just maybe, he would go and talk to Sonny, but he didn't. He went straight to Zeke. Him and Dominique went straight to Zeke and trying to pretty much just undercut Sonny in his business. And now, even though Zeke told him no at first, you know, he, he let them come and cook and all that stuff and cater, and he, he pretty much gave him a deal, but... It was just a dirty move from Emmett, in my opinion. And he slipped up by clapping Dominique's cheeks. I told you guys that I knew from the last episode when he was talking to that psychic and how she said that he is the problem, that he can't keep it in his pants. I knew 
that Dominique was going to throw it at him in this episode. That's pretty much, they pretty much told us what was going to happen. The question was, was Emmett going to take it? And he did. He went back to his old ways and he took it. I'm telling you right now, it's nine times out of ten they're going to mess up his relationship with um, Tiffany. It is definitely going to be a messed up situation with that when she finds out this would not end well for your boy Emmett. Um, I can't wait to see how it all uh, unfolds for, um, for the rest of the season. I want to see what's going to happen with Emmett and Keisha and see how that storyline unfolds as well. But overall, this was a very good episode. I like how they kind of went back and, you know, gave us some of that season one stuff with Kevin and Ronnie and then showing Jason's picture. Um, that was cool to me. I think this was a very good episode, episode seven. Um, your girl, Burgundy Baker, she said this was her favorite episode and it makes sense because she was able to escape. Um, what's next for Keisha? That's the question. You guys let me know what you felt about this episode. I will be dropping that recap later on in the day for you guys. So be ready and stay tuned. But keep supporting your boy and I will continue to bring you more of the shy content in the future. But it's your boy Mark Dark. I'm out. Peace.